Edwards has his team set up. They really put a lot of pressure on you from different ways just because of their setup in terms of how they do things uh, offensively. Uh, obviously, the big kid got away from us uh, tonight. But I thought our kids had a good mentality. They kept battling. Uh, we played a lot of guys, or not very many guys, with a lot of minutes uh, and kept pounding away. So that was a good good situation. Uh, Ten turnovers the first half is way too many. Two the second half, when you have a chance to score, you know, get zero interest on your investment if you have a turnover. So bad shot, you might get lucky and hit a bad shot, but nothing on a turnover. And so 10 opportunities against Kansas in one half, not a good formula. Okay, questions? Uh, Cody, you guys played them fairly even in the in the second half. How did, what, what went better there? Uh, look, like Coach said, you know, we looked off the ball in the second half. We had 10 turnovers in the first, two in the, in the second. Um, but, you know, I think our defense definitely picked up in the second half. Yeah, we've still got a long way to go, but uh, yeah, I think it's a good step forward for us. You guys come out look a, a little, I don't know if it's nervous is the word, but the beginning minutes of the game, just like some of the shots didn't look, <coughs> weren't that they were good shots, they were shots that just seemed to miss by a lot. Right, mm-hmm. I mean, well, yeah, we came out flat. Uh, you know, it's, I don't know the reason for that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we've got to be, we got to be ready to go from you know, the very start. You know, I think, you know, like you said, we did come out a bit flat. You know, against a good team like Kansas, you can't do that. You know, that's where they're going to step on your throat and you know, uh, extend that lead. And, you know, it's tough to get that lead back from a good team. Cody, is it frustrating to, to, to trim that down, come back in the second half, and they just dump it back inside? I mean, it's a bad matchup for 90% of the country, basically. Right. I mean, yeah, it's frustrating. But, uh, you know, that's that's not the reason we lost the game. You know, um, you know the turnovers in the first half obviously killed us. But, I mean, yeah, like you said, it's, it's, it's really frustrating. But, you know, there's nothing you can really do about it now. It's done. we gotta, we got to push forward. Do you feel your shot's starting to come around there at the, uh, at the end? Yeah, I think so. You know, I've uh, been thinking about it too much when I'm shooting it. Uh, those last couple of shots, you know, I just caught it and just in rhythm and, you know, shot it without thinking too much about it, you mm-hmm. know. Um, I've been working a lot after practice with it, so, you know, it'll, it'll come back. Jim, did you thought you, you you went with a pretty short, with a very short bench? Was there a thought about using Manning more or going? To I probably wish I did use Manning more. Uh, he's been doing well in practice and, and and doing good, and I really don't have any good reason why we didn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, in fact, I just told him that in the locker room. He, he's been doing a good job, and we probably should have put him in more. And how's Jordan? Because that the last thing he needed was him. Leaving the game in the situation wasn't good enough to play, so mm-hmm. I don't know. Healthy enough to play. Coach, you talked about with it getting away from you in the second half. What did you see him from him in the second half? What did you see? Him well, he gets it so deep. I mean, he's got good hands and he's so long, and, and uh, you know, you fight around him and they do a great job. I mean, they're well schooled. They throw it right back to that backboard like it's the back of the end zone, like those NFL <laughs> quarterbacks. And it seems like they got quite a few of those quarterbacks, so that's not good. Uh, from our standpoint, but then if you if you, if you get behind them, then he just buries you deep. Uh, so we're trying to get help from different positions, but I mean they got some good players, kind of all over the place. So uh, as soon as you kind of plug this hole, another hole opens up. So uh, that's why they're pretty good. Is that how it played out with Relaford? He didn't get as much in the in the second half. Well, we're playing off him a little bit the first half, so that wasn't. Real wise on my part, I guess, uh, trying to take away some of the inside. But he actually, even when we did, he hit a couple good shots. But I mean, we had a hand up on him pretty good. He, he shot the ball a little bit better than we thought he would, or I thought he would. Probably the players might not thought that, but I did. So that wasn't real wise. But uh, he got him off to a good start. There's no doubt about that. I think Dwayne only got five shots off. Relaford was on him most of the time. Did he do a pretty good job too? Well, it's tough. You got that big kid. I mean, we we like to go inside to get with several of our guys, but when he's in the game, I mean, he comes over and I don't know how many block shots he had tonight. Seven. You know, it seems like every time I see the stats, he's got six or seven. So uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult to post, even if it's not his man. I mean, he comes over from help side. He, he's good. He's on the ball. Some block sh- uh, shot blockers are good on the ball, and some are off the ball. He seems to have a pretty good knack of doing both uh, and staying out of foul trouble. And staying out of foul trouble, so that's 
certainly salute him on that. Do you, do you come away from these two games here feeling good about where this team is, even though you're, you go one and one? Have you been around coaches at all? I have been, yes. Yeah, no, yeah. you don't really feel that good too much, too many times. You won, you won the first one, you lost the second, so you go home. Uh, well, it's better knowing two, there's yeah. no doubt about that. But, yeah. uh, you know, you got beat tonight, and that's what's kind of in your face. And we, in back college basketball, you got to regroup. We got a huge game Saturday, and that's that's the bottom line. I mean, that's, that's the, you got to learn from the rear view mirror, but mm-hmm. car's got to be pointed the other direction. Mm-hmm. Coach, can you talk a little bit about Jake Barnett? I mean, he came off a good game yesterday and then built. Yeah, it's been great. Jake's really worked at it, uh, you know, over his career and, and really didn't get much playing time at all last year. And so he's getting in there and he's getting more comfortable. But he, he has some spunk to him and bite to him. And, uh, you know, it's good. I think it seemed like he hit a couple shots. Um, you know, he hit three for eight, got some offensive rebound, got three offensive rebounds. So he's good. I mean, he, he's getting better and better, more comfortable out there, and he's going to help us. That's been good. Does anybody else in the slew will be out 